In this illustration, we intend to simulate a cyclic behavior of the shear bending yielding damper in the Abacus software. As you observe in the picture, the metallic yielding damper includes shear plate, flexural plate, and end plate. In this picture, the formation obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with the experimental results. In the next picture, the buckling of a shear plate in the Abacus model and the experimental sample have been compared to one another. Here you observe the shear plate damage in this question. A cyclic loading is applied to the top of the shear bending yielding metallic damper and uh, following that its hysteresis diagram will be drawn. Here the diagram obtained from the Abacus software has been distinguished with green color and as you observe the results obtained from the Abacus software are very close to those mentioned in the article. Actually we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Experimental Numerical Analyt and Analytical Study on seismic performance of share bending yielding coupling dampers. Here you observe the share bending yielding damper in the laboratory. Here the hysteresis diagram having been drawn in the article. In the next step, I will click on create part. Here I intend to create geometric shape of flexural plate. Here I will select the modeling space as three dimensional, then deformable, solid, and extrusion, and continue. Here the flexural plates have been marked out with red color. I will draw a rectangle. The length of uh, flexural plates is equal to 390 millimeters. Their width is equal to 24 millimeters. I will then click on done and the width of flexural plates is equal to 115 millimeters. I will click on linear pattern, select flexural plate, done. Here I'll enter offset equal to 100 millimeters. As you observe in the picture, there are four flexural plates in each side, and so they are eight altogether.
right click on linear pattern select base plate done here uh, enter offset equal to 440 millimeters and OK. I'll click on mechanical menu, select uh, elasticity and elastic. Young modulus is equal to uh, 206,000 megapascal. And Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3. In the next step, I'll click on mechanical menu, select plasticity and plastic. Yield stress is equal to 245 uh, megapascal. And ultimate stress is equal to uh, 416 megapascal. Here, the article has suggested a meshing size of 10 millimeters for shear plates. So, here I click on seed part. Enter approximate global size equal to 10 millimeters. Click on assign mesh control. Select Medial axis and OK. Click on mesh part and yes. The article has suggested the meshing size of 20 millimeters for flexural plates. I click on seed part and enter approximate global size equal to 20 millimeters. Click on mesh part and yes. In the next step, I'll click on seed part, seed edge. Select uh, these edges. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are very close to those results mentioned in the article.
Here you observe uh, the buckling of shear plates and here uh, you can observe the buckling of shear plates in the Abacus software. As you observe, plastic strain is more in these areas and this has been marked out in the article as well. In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the model, or in other words, we intend to draw this diagram. I click on Create XY Data, select ODB Field Output, and continue. I select Unic Nodal, then Reaction Force directed at X. From here, select Set 6, and this Set 6 is related to the place of cyclic loading. In the next step, I will click on Create XY Data again. Select ODB Field Output and continue. Here, I will select displacement directed at X, then select this node and click on save. I'll click on create XY data, select operate on XY data and continue. Here I'll select some operator, then select all reaction forces, Click on Add to Expression, then click on Save As. In this manner, all reaction forces will be added up together. I'll click on Clear Expression. Here, I'll select Combine. First, select U1 and then RF1 and click on Save As. Here, you observe the hysteresis diagram drawn in the Abacus software. I'll transfer that to the Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter.
and the second column is force, the unit of which is Newton. The diagram drawn with, blue, with green color is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus software are very close to those mentioned in the article, indicating that the question has been simulated properly in the Abacus software.